Hello and uh, welcome back uh, to Ignite Studio. We created a stone in the last video, if you remember. And what I've done, I just um, duplicate, you know, some more stones and uh, put them around the scene uh, where I uh, see they are uh, interesting and uh, look good. So I hope you have done yours as well. And the other thing I've done, I just copy one or two more chi. Um, and put them in between i think it was this one and one here and one somewhere around here that's all but you know how to do that and it should be very easy uh, to do so um that's all i have done so i put uh, a stone around uh, this area and i i think in this uh, video i'm gonna uh, create um, a lamp or latin somewhere around here so just uh, like a post here to hold uh, uh, our light uh, but before doing that because I think uh, we created some more uh, objects uh, in our scene and uh, if you look at the collection don't forget uh, because it get uh, messy really quickly so if, if you see all these um, we haven't put them in the different collection so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna uh, try to organize a little bit um, and then we're gonna carry on from there so I'm gonna hide uh, some the one which is we already uh, organized this one and the only thing uh, left which is uh, we haven't done so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put uh, the ground in one collection so select if you remember and then m new collection and i'll call this one ground and then i'm gonna hide that one so to make it easier for us to select the uh, other things and the next thing i'm gonna put a uh, pool in a uh, separate collection as well yes i'm gonna put uh, these two uh, in one collection so i'm just gonna call this one pool and hide that one as well and then the rest is just uh, the stone so i'm just gonna select all of them like this making sure everything's been selected and then press M new collection and then just call them stone if I know how to spell sorry so now we tidy up uh, our scene which is much better and we only have a left our camera here uh, which is we're gonna talk about the camera later on because I just put this camera in there just to look at our scene for putting things around uh, where they should be and uh, more interesting so just as a composition uh, that's the reason I put the camera there but later on when we're going to uh, finish our scene we're gonna talk about the camera later I'm just gonna create a lamp post I think I'm gonna keep this um, hiding and then it's gonna be easier for us to see what we are doing so I'm gonna move the 3D cursor into the middle and then we start from there so we're going to snap uh, closer to water origin so i'm gonna add uh, cube i think we're gonna start from the cube you can't start with the cube or cylinder both so i'm gonna do with a cube it's a little bit maybe the, the cylinder is gonna be quicker but let's start with this one so i'm gonna scale it down a little bit like this and then I'm gonna move up to the ground level so going into edit mode G Z move it to like this and I'm gonna make some cut so we want to be uh, a little bit round okay so in the edit mode I'm gonna uh, control R and just add one loop here and then S X to scale like this and then I'm gonna add another loop control R this way and then S Y this time to scale it like this uh, we don't want this uh, top uh, vertices so right click and uh, dissolve vertices should be fine and this one as well so dissolve this one 
So if you start with the cylinders, you still get some shape, uh, similar shape, uh, maybe. Um, but I've done this way, so uh, which way? You, there's many ways you can create it. I think uh, probably maybe the cylinder was gonna be quicker. So let me. But I took uh, the longer road. Sorry for that. Um, let me uh, move this one a little bit up. So G Z. This is just gonna be for our. Uh, a long post so I think it's quite thick I want to make it a little bit uh, smaller get out of uh, edit mode and then scale it down like this and then S Z just to scale it in the Z axis like this and uh, I'm gonna duplicate this one Shift D and then R X nine zero like this, and then I'm gonna scale it down like this, and then S in Y only as well, so something like this, and then G Z to move it up. So I'm gonna just um, because this is just uh, like uh, uh, made of uh, wood uh, I want to make it a little bit uh, interesting because it's in the village I don't like you know everything to be really perfect so I'm gonna add some uh, loop to this one and just make a little bit uh, more interesting shape of this one so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select hold down alt and select this edge and then G and move a little bit like this I just just a little bit so it doesn't uh, look very perfect and then G on this I think it should be okay I uh, get out of uh, edit mode and this one I'm gonna move it back so it just going through all the way like this and then scale it up a little bit more like this this is should be fine okay and next I'm gonna add um, cylinder to create our uh, uh, lump so shift A and then this time I'm gonna start with cylinder and we're gonna start with um, let's see six yeah I think I'm gonna start with six and then G and move it in Y just to see it better and then now uh, I'm gonna scale it down so S Z just to look into uh, Z axis like this and then because it's uh, quite big so I'm gonna scale it down uh, like this as far as it should be okay so now I'm just gonna scale up on the little bit more like this go into edit mode by pressing top and then um, control R to make a uh, tool loop like this and then I'm gonna select uh, press 3 on the keyboard and select all these um, faces like this and then I'm gonna extrude them out a little bit so just uh, make a uh, little bit more uh, interesting shape so hold on this one we're gonna go with uh, third one so extrude uh, along normal and then I'm just gonna extrude like this should be fine you can uh, put the number in here as well and make it even like uh, all the way around should be same size and then I'm gonna select this face and I'm gonna con uh, shift D to make a copy of this one this face and then Z to move it up like this okay so this is gonna be our class gonna be in here so 
I'm gonna extrude this one up. So E Z to move it up like this, and then again E Z like this, and then S to skip. Sorry, I don't want to turn on this one. I forget. Um, this is on. So S and scale it down like this, and then again E Z over up little bit and then E Z again and then S to scale it down a little bit more and then E to extrude and then S scaling it down like this and the last one extrude and then S scale it down just like this I think it should be okay so I'm gonna do I'm gonna select this face and then press E for extrude and then S so just to scale it down like this should be okay and then E again and Z to extrude up so just to touch the top part like this. Uh, just let me zoom out if it's too uh, tall. Um, I think I'm gonna move it down a little bit so because it's like a uh, very tall uh, lump so G Z move it down like this and then you're gonna select the rest and move it down as well. But now let me select uh, all the faces around so by turn on x-ray you easily can select like this all them together and then turn off so make sure um, everything's been selected around and then just um, press i i twice on your keyboard so and scale it down like this and then while they are still selected press S Z to scale it just in Z axis so just make all the side uh, kind of even hold down shift if you have no co control over it, so you have a more control over the movement so just like this and still while they are selected go to the same tool this one for extrude and then extrude them in little bit just like this so if you want to change the number you can't do it here so don't forget this uh, and make it even so all of them are kind of similar okay and now I'm gonna select the top part and move it down because we don't want uh, this face I think I'm gonna uh, remove this face so by selecting on X and face uh, because you have already another face on the top um, and now by turning on X-ray so easy we can uh, select everything and turn it back on and G Z move it down to the place and just press top to get out of uh, edit mode like this so we created our uh, lamp and I'm gonna move it up so press G Y to move it like this and then G Z something like this and I think it's still quite big to me so I'm gonna scale it down and then when we turn on everything uh, we're gonna compare uh, with the house to make sure the size is right so I'm gonna press S and shift so to have a more control over the scaling I think I'm happy with the size for now and uh, later on you can change if you want so I'm gonna create a chain to hold our uh, lamp here so I'm gonna add uh, another object which is uh, uh, sorry uh, Taurus, if I can't pronounce it right, sorry, but this one. 
like this and don't forget you have to change the setting key before moving your object so I'm gonna uh, give it a uh, six thing by six let's put this one seven see I think yeah six by six uh, should do the job yeah and then now I'm just gonna scale it down this is quite big and then G Z move it up and then R X nine zero so we just rotating in the X direction and then G Y to move it to place where we want and it's still too big so I'm gonna scale it down uh, more so S scale it down and G Z to move it up so I just want to make it a little bit bigger than um, the wood this one so S let me make a copy shift D Z to move it down like this and then I'm gonna play with this one to make it a little bit better so by going to edit mode and then select these two and then S X like this and then I'm gonna make another cut this way and scale up so to make a little bit better shape by control R and then left right click and then I'm gonna select this one and this one maybe I missed uh, one uh, face so I want to add another uh, point uh, at the beginning when we uh, edit our uh, shape so S Z sorry not so much just a little bit so it's okay now it's a little bit better I'm gonna keep this one round because I want that to be round but still this one is too big so S because the one this should be small one then S G is it move it to the place move this one up so G Z S keep it a bit bigger and then R Z 90 like this because uh, we don't want uh, to go in very detail it's low poly scene and this is gonna be far away so there's no point uh, giving uh, creating really high uh, detail and you're never gonna see uh, here because if you're creating like you know the the scene which is gonna be seen from uh, very close up then you should uh, give it a little bit more detail uh, because I want to keep it um, as low as possible so I'm gonna double click this and shift D R Z 9 0 like this yep. and then G Z going down and then select both of them shift D Z and then move it down like this let me see yeah I'm gonna make two more copy uh, shift D Z and move it down like this and then just move the lamp to the uh, right place so G Y over this way and then G Z move it down like this so just touch into the chain and that should be fine so we have done our uh, lamp post and at the bottom I want to give you something like you know to uh, hold you know the, the lamp post because uh, it doesn't look right just you know going to the ground like this even it's the village you know it it happened like that but I prefer to give it something like stronger at the bottom to 
or hold uh, the other post. So I'm gonna put maybe another uh, cube. Let's get it down. And scale it in S, so in on Z, just like this. And then go into edit mode, select the top face, and then E for extrude, and then S for scale it down like this. So that should be okay. And that's it. We created um, our lamp post. And then you can make more copy of this uh, when you want. I'm gonna parent them to one object so when you move uh, to make it easier for us. And I'm gonna put everything in one collection as well uh, to be more organized. So pre select everything and press M on your keyboard, new collection. And I'm just gonna call this one lump should be fine just any name you recognize what it is that should be fine uh, let me add an empty because empty they are really uh, helpful on there you can't keep them big and they are not uh, renderable so I'm gonna select uh, cube like this just to be able to choose. so I'm gonna select everything and remember to select the cube the last one the empty so everything the last one is going to be the parents, the, uh, the rest is going to be the child of this one. So hold down shift, select this one, right click, parents, object, and everything should be. You can see they are linked to this. So it should work. So G to move around. And that's it. Let's bring back everything uh, in the scene and see the size of our lamp, uh, whether it is small or big. So I'm going to turn on everything like this. It's huge. <laughs> I mean, it's really big. I'm post, so I'm going to move it to somewhere around here. So G, um, I'm selecting empty still. So if you, if you deselect it, you should go in here and select just the empty. If I can't reach this one, yeah. And then G. X to move it out like this and then turn on x-ray and then I'm gonna scale it down so when we scale down this everything should be scaled down uh, with no problem so S scale it down so this is a good way to make sure the size uh, I mean easy way to whether like you know, rather the game in individually scale them down if you paint them to one empty, this is uh, really helpful uh, to be able to scale and make sure the size is right. So I'm pressing G, Y, just to move it back a little bit. So I'm going to put one in here and then another one on the uh, other side of the pole. So G, X, like this. And make sure it is uh, touching to the ground. G, Y, move a little bit this way, and then G, X, and I think that should be fine. Because when you building up your scene and going to um, shading, uh, texturing, and lighting, then you still uh, look around and maybe move the thing around. And especially if the scene haven't been prepared. Uh, uh, or script uh, it's really difficult like you know to know exactly what you because this is haven't been script so I just uh, put everything together just uh, while we doing this course and carry on doing it um, so I'm gonna make another copy to this side so if I be able to select this sometimes you forget this one select objects like this and then I'm gonna select the uh, empty as well and now shift D and X and move it to this side so this is good composition if you look at from here so I think we have done 
uh, really well it should be fine and I don't want uh, the video to get uh, longer so I think I'm gonna stop here and the next thing I'm thinking to add some uh, maybe grass to our scene uh, to make it more interesting and we will see from there uh, what you're gonna do next so I will see you in the next video